Okay, so rule 12 covers on the same tack, not overlap. So let's take a look at this rule and we'll look at some scenarios. When boats are on the same tack and not overlapped, a boat clear stern shall keep clear of a boat clear ahead. This is the don't run me over rule, essentially. So we have already talked about our definitions of tack and overlap, and let's take a look at the scenario. Here we have boats, they're on the same jibe. Yellow is a stern and comes in and hits blue in the stern. Blue alleges yellow breaks rule 12. Don't run me over. Yellow did break rule 12 in this scenario. It's pretty straightforward and yellow is penalized. So when they're on the same jibe as they are here, even though they're both on starboard, overtaking boat, keep clear. Now let's take a look at a little different scenario. Here we have two boats sailing upwind. Let the scenario play. Blue is clear ahead, and uh, all of a sudden they drop their main sheet. So presumably they slow down as a result of that. Yellow is following very closely behind, tags them in the transom. So now the question is, can blue do that? Does the obligation on yellow change at all? So blue definitely alleges that yellow breaks rule 12, overtaking boat keep clear. Yellow alleges, in this case, that blue breaks rule 16, which essentially is the you know, right away boat can't change or alter its course. Um, she dropped her main sheet, she hit a wave, all of a sudden she stops. So that's yellow's perspective. But if we take a look at rule 16, it says when a right away boat changes its course, she shall give the other boat room to keep clear. Blue does not change her course. Because she drops her main sheet or hits a wave or for whatever other reason slows down, you can almost really think of course or a yacht's course as its compass heading. And in this case, the heading of blue doesn't change. Its speed changes, which causes them to converge into a collision, but the course does not change. So as a result, yellow is penalized in this case. It does break rule 12 because it did not keep clear. So here's a, a, a very common situation we see in the starting line. You see uh, boats converging in and blue comes in from behind and tags yellow. In this scenario, yellow alleges that blue breaks rule 12, overtaking boat keep clear. Blue's defense is I had nowhere to go. And this is another good example of while that may be true, um, it's really not a defense, and it doesn't exonerate Blue, in this case, from breaking the rule. Um, Blue needs to anticipate that before it happens and either attack or bear off and bail out of this situation. Basically, Blue does break Rule 12 in this scenario. No other boat breaks a rule, and Blue will get penalized. So this is a great example of that anticipation factor having to anticipate well ahead of time that scenario before it actually happens. So to recap, this is a very straightforward rule. It's on the same tack, overtaking boat must keep clear. And the other really important concept is the way the rule is worded, it refers to course. And course is, think of it as the compass heading the boat's traveling. It's not the speed the boat's traveling. It's not how the sails are trimmed. It's the direction that the boat is pointed. And the easiest way to think of that is on the compass. We've gone through our definitions, and that's it for Rule 12.